Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It is time. It is time for a makeup declutter. Now this is not just going to be eyeshadow palettes because I don't think I have enough eyeshadow palettes for an eyeshadow declutter. <laughs> so what I did is I just kind of went through my makeup collection um, to see any products that I was just like, you know what, it's time. I'm not going to use you. I try to be, I don't want to say cutthroat, but I try to be very logical. As a person, just generally, I am very much logical. Like the math needs to math for me. So I, t I tried to take that approach to my collection in terms of why am I really holding on to this? Is it just because I like how it looks? Is it just because I like to swatch it? Is it because I need it for comparisons? You know, what is the real reason there? And I didn't try to talk myself out of keeping certain palettes. I was just asking myself, honestly, do I need it? Do I really want it? So with that, <laughs> there are some products that I, I have sadly decided that needs to leave my collection. This is going to be a mix of eyeshadow, like I said, and other makeup. So go ahead, get you a little drinky drink, get a little snacky snack, and let's dive in. I have my coffee. This is actually... <laughs> Some, spum some pumpkin spice latte. The I bought the pre-made one from Starbucks. It's like a little container. It's actually sold at Aldi's. So Aldi's has the pumpkin spice latte in the like pre-made form. It's like $5.99. So 100% cheaper than actually buying the drink. Like I'll get like maybe 10 glasses out of that. So get you your little Aldi's pumpkin spice. Um, Anyways, before we dive in, welcome if this is your first time joining me. I'm Jamila. I love all things beauty. I love all things makeup and skincare. And I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to find high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the fam. Okay. So I have my little basket. Oh, here we go, guys. And I will say that I pulled some products from my basket of shame because they're just certain things that I was like... I haven't, I bought this years ago, I still haven't used it, so we're gonna get into all of it in this video. Okay, so before you ask, all of this is gonna be on my Macari. If you're interested in any of it, please just check out my Macari store front. It will have all of these products listed. Uh, so you guys are ready, so let's start with what's on top of the pile. It is this Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. Now I picked this up because I saw my girl Kara do a video with this and it looked stunning on her. Like she just created such beautiful looks using this and I picked it up. I thought it was super grunge and deep and just like really, really interesting. And I did one look with this and I was like, absolutely not. No, ma'am. And my biggest issue with this palette is the multi-chromes that are in it. When I tell you these multi-chromes are weak, they are weak. I found that they just did not have the shift that I needed once I put it on the eyes. Like, I swatched it and it was like, eh, fine, whatever. But they didn't have the shift or the sparkle that I wanted it to have on the eyes. And I will say that the mattes in this palette, they were just okay. Like, I didn't think they were anything to write home about. I wasn't super impressed. And... Quite frankly, this is really bulky packaging for me to be unimpressed with it. <laughs> so I just don't think that this formulation is for me. Now, one thing I will say and give, will give this palette credit for is the fact that the shimmers are smooth. And when I tell you smooth, they are smooth, smooth. Let me actually swatch one or two for you guys to see. So I'm going to swatch the three multi-chromes in here so you guys can see. So you can see how smooth these shimmers are. But I think you can tell from these swatches how meh. Like they're not terrible, but they're not exactly blowing my mind when it comes to how they swatch or how they applied on the lids. Now you could certainly build this up. You could put it over a black base. It's going to pop a lot. But these aren't revolutionary shifts. I have these shifts in other pa in other palettes, other singles. So I just think it makes sense for this to like leave my collection and go to a better home. So that's the first palette that I'm getting out of my collection. Second is gonna be a face palette, but I've been using it as eyeshadow. And this is the Fenty Kilowatt highlighting palette, right? So this has a bunch of highlighters in all different colors. 
And this I felt like was better suited as eyeshadow. So I was actually using this as an eyeshadow. I think I'm just gonna give this to my little sister. I think she will enjoy this. I think she'll have a ton of fun playing with these shades here. They're still really nice. I do like some of the iridescent shades as highlights. They do apply really well as highlighter, but they also work really well as eyeshadow as well because they have a nice shift to them. It's like dual chromey, nothing spectacular. Um, but it's not one that I'm reaching for. I'm not packing this to travel with. It's a weird shape in terms of storage. So it's been kind of getting lost in my collection. So I think it's best if this goes to a better home. So I'll give it to my sister because I think she'll play in it and enjoy it a lot more than I will. Next up, and I went back and forth on this and don't be surprised if this goes back into my collection. <laughs> This is the Love for Sale palette from House Labs. Now this is not the new House Labs that we all know today. This is the old House Labs. This is one of the last palettes that they released and honestly it is beautiful. I will say before House Labs went through this entire reformulation, they were already working on improving their formula. And this was one of the palettes that, or this was the palette that they released that I felt like was such an improvement in terms of formula. This is made in Italy and it's a beautiful neutral color story with depth. And that's why I'm struggling with this palette because even though it's it's a neutral color story and it might seem a little basic, it has the depth that I think works well for someone of my skin tone. And these shimmers are really nice. They're not super foiled, they're not super metallic, but they're very work appropriate. So I feel like this is a palette that I should keep for the times that I travel for work and I need to put on like a very basic neutral look, which is what I do when I travel for work. If I'm traveling for work, it's gonna be neutral, it's gonna be very simple. So like, that's the only reason I want to keep this <laughs> and it has really good mattes. The mattes blend really nicely, but I think I need to let it go because even though it's beautiful, even though the shades are nice, I have other neutral palettes. I have a shit ton of neutral palettes and this is just, it's just another one of my neutral palettes in my collection. Now overall, I will say the packaging is quite sturdy. It's very well made. Again, part of why I'm like holding on to this so much, like, and my logical brain is saying, just keep it because you want it. But then my like, okay, girl, now act like you got some sense brain is like, you can love this and let it go because you're not going to use it. So I'm going to, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. And whoever does end up with it, I hope you love it because it's a good palette. It's solid. Okay, so next up, um, I'm gonna get rid of my two Makeup Geek quads. Now this was a part of a charity release that they did. So the proceeds from this, I think went to, Jesus. Oh, it didn't break, thank God. The proceeds from these two palettes went to St. Jude's Hospital, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, St. Jude's focuses on research for children with cancer. So I was really happy to buy this. This was, I think, my first time trying the Makeup Geek formula. The mattes are actually really quite nice. The shimmers are really nice as well. I just don't think I'm ever gonna use this. Like, I think this color story is interesting, but they're very distinct, right? You can't get a neutral look from it. Now, in theory, I could just add this to my singles collection and use this as singles, but I will probably just end up giving this away, maybe to my siblings, um, cause they can probably have more fun with it. This is a really pretty blue though. Should I keep the blue? You see what happens in these videos? I really want that blue. Okay, we, we gonna have to revisit this quad because this blue, that's a blue, that is a blue. Okay, let it go, let it go. Oh my gosh, stress. Why, I don't know why, I don't know why. Okay, let me just take a break from my shadow and show you all something else because eyeshadow really stresses me out. Um, so I'm getting rid of my Pat McGrath brick. Now, this was a limited edition highlight release that Pat McGrath released. It's in this solid gold packaging. This shit is heavy as hell. It's like a brick. And the highlight in it is honestly just mediocre. Like, 
Pat McGrath has improved her highlight formula significantly. I don't like this highlight formula. I never use it. This is pretty much just aesthetic when it comes to what it does in my collection. And maybe somebody else will like this aesthetic. Maybe somebody else will find value in this gold brick. So this one, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let it go. Okay, now back to eyeshadow. So I've decided to declutter my Nabla Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. It's a beautiful palette. It's glitter eyeshadow. It is self adhering, so you don't have to put down glitter glue. It already has like whatever um, base or uh, thing that's used to combine the shadows in there. You don't need to apply anything else for it to stay down. I just don't wear glitter. I don't wear glitter on my lids, so I don't know why I picked this up. It was dumb on my part. And maybe it's a good thing for carnival, but carnival is once a year, y'all. <laughs> There's no reason for me to have this because it's not something that I wear enough to keep it. So I'm getting rid of that. Then I actually struggled with this one a little bit because one, I like the packaging of these. I think that these are just so cute. These were the first releases from the brand as well. These are the eyeshadow palettes from Rare Beauty. So we have Magnetic Spirits and Confident Energy. So Magnetic Spirit, in my opinion, is the best one. I think it's the most wearable. These were really fun to play with. I loved how these performed. So you have like a dual chrome topper shade here. And then uh, these are all standard shimmers. What I liked about these shimmers is that they have that sort of Pat McGrath-esque um, ability to blend them and use them as a matte. So you technically don't need to reach into another palette, but I would for these. And then this was like the bold and colorful one. This green and this blue, two absolutely stunning shades. This is Confident Energy. Really, really enjoyed this one as well. So like, I loved the performance of this. I thought the quality of this was absolutely amazing, but I'm not gonna use this, so I'm letting it go. Bye bye. Okay, so next up, I have a bunch of Sigma palettes, and this is um, let's just say I've realized that I don't like the Sigma formula. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think that it is one that stands out in my collection one that I'm inspired to reach for. Um, so I've decided to declutter all of my Sigma palettes. So first up we have the Cinderella palette. This one I've actually never even used. Um, I'm gonna keep the brush though, cause the brush is good. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep the brush, but I'm gonna get rid of the palette. Uh, the eyeshadows have never even used. There is a little bit of a nick in the black one, which that came like it. And the embossing in this is really cute or whatever, but I just don't think the Sigma formula is for me. I think that the mattes are okay and the shimmers are okay like it's like so middle of the road that it's gonna get lost not when i have better uh palettes that stand out more in my collection so that's the first one then i have the warm neutrals palette from uh sigma this one is a really nice very wearable color story it is perfect for like you know corporate work this is what i would use it for really good to travel with as well as well I have nothing bad to say about the color story for this or really the formula like I know I'm saying that I don't like the formula but it really does come down to preference because I've created really pretty looks with these palettes at least this one and the next one I'm about to show you guys it's just that it doesn't stand out as like anything in my collection and I would literally have to tell myself use this palette use this palette which to be fair that's how I feel about my Juvia's Place palettes and I still <laughs> still have those but I don't know something just felt easier to get rid of this and then lastly we have the untamed palette i thought this was so pretty and like this blue y'all this blue but i have blue in other palettes and this color story i think is just so stunning like this is just such this they have such good color stories i wish i liked the formula more because i really like how they put together their palettes and sorry, one more. This is actually one that I got as a Christmas gift, never even used it. This is the Magnifique palette from uh, Sigma. It's a little five pan purple eyeshadow palette. I think that this is really pretty if you like purple shadow, but I think it's fair for that one to go as well. Um, Cause I have other purple palettes and again, not my favorite formula. Then this is gonna come as no surprise. Y'all know how I felt about the 420 palette, which quite frankly, I tried to convince myself to keep it because I got a really pretty look out of it. 
I got a really pretty matte look out of it. But the fight I had to fight, all my life I had to fight. It wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. I felt like I was traumatized after I made that look. This, I've seen people work with this. I've seen people create beautiful, stunning, epic neon looks with it. I'm not talented enough. I'm not talented enough. Not my ministry. I don't know how to make this work. I tried. I did two looks. I got something out of it, but I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't, I cannot, I cannot. So this is gonna go to a better home with someone who has more skill and more talent than I do because I am not the one that this is gonna like live with. And then lastly, this was a dumb purchase that I made because when you see it, you'll understand why. So this is the Tom Ford Raw Desire palette. I think this was gonna appear on this is so dusty who is wearing y'all I don't know who I thought I was I must have forgot what complexion I am because this dusty palette I purchased and spent a stupid amount of money buying. Now I did get it at the CCO, so it was 50% off, but even with the 50% off, I was robbed. Yes, by myself, I purchased it of my own free will, but it was dumb. Okay, so that's it guys. Those are all of the products that I'm gonna be decluttering this go around. Now there are some other products that are on the chopping block and will probably not make it in the next round. So we'll have another declutter probably closer to the end of the year. You guys know I'm not a declutter channel. I just don't like keeping clutter in my space, especially now that I've moved and I am like in a new space. I am trying to maintain a sense of peace and quite frankly, when your physical surroundings are like closing in around you with too much things, it's not very helpful. So I try to get things out of my collection, out of my life as soon as they just no longer suit me. So. Those are gonna go bye-bye. I can't wait for somebody else to have fun with them and enjoy them more than I do. And I am going to, these, ugh. You know what? I have two looks that I created with this and it was absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. And it's the blue man. Hold on. I'm like pulling out my Blend Bunny palettes because if I can find it there, I can let it go. Okay, so I feel like Royal Europe might be. No, mm -mm. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are, we're gonna keep these. I'm going to add them to my singles collection. Oh, did this break? Oh, I was like, why keep making this noise? So the little magnetic thing just came out of the palette. That's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna keep these. These are gonna go into my singles collection. I know, I know, I know, I know, I get it, whatever. Leave me alone. <laughs> so they're gonna go back into the collection um, and I'll make sure they use them. I will, I promise. Anyways. That's it for this video today, guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know anything that you wanna let me know. It could be about the declutter, whatever it is, your, your toys. Um, and if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. So much content coming for you guys. I feel like I have this new wind, this new energy. And maybe it's cause I actually slept this weekend. Sometimes you just need a good nap, you know? Like we look at kids and we're like, why are you so ugh? And it's just like, oh, they just needed a nap. As an adult, I think we forget that we need naps too sometimes. So make sure you take you a little nap. Now I am looking a little shiny because I have been filming since 10 a.m. this morning. It is now 2 p.m. So I'm gonna go. I think I'm done for today. I have to wash my brushes and it is Sunday here. So, you know, we gotta adult and do the real like adult thing. So I'm gonna meal prep, wash my brushes, probably pop into Target, pick up a couple of uh, necessities and that's gonna be it. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much more than you know, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. Thank you, and have a good one. Bye, guys.